Okay, there I am in England, Morocco, starting to learn medicine. My first teacher turned out to be a uh, homeopath that treated me for my chronic asthma and cured me permanently of my chronic asthma. That was a good lesson right off the bat for me because I saw, well, here's a chronic problem that I'd had all my life and that people have and they best work at palliation uh, but the homeopaths have a deep, permanent cure for it. And uh, philosophy surrounding, and a, a, a philosophy and principles understanding what it's about that enable that to happen. So my first teacher was, a, he was actually a druid. He was an arch-druid in London. John de Monte was his name. And he treated me of asthma, and I said, well, would you, could you teach me about homeopathy? So he became my first teacher, and uh, I apprenticed to him one-on-one. -on -one. And I've been fortunate in my, in my time studying medicine to have this opportunity to, to, to actually, my, all, almost all of my training has been one-on-one -on -one from individuals. So John DeMonte was the first person I learned from, a homeopath. There was another uh, homeopath in, in London that I spent time with. There, were, there was a, uh, the Hakim that I met in Pakistan after a lot of searching and a lot of difficulty that uh, I spent time with. And he, he said he taught, you know, I, went to, I was invited to Pakistan by Hakim Muhammad Saeed. Some of you know his name. He was a, one of the most famous Hakims, traditional Hakims in the, in the world. He used to speak for the World Health Organization. And um, he was primarily a businessman that created Hamdard Foundation, which produces medicines. Where's, the, where's our pharmacist? Uh, Hamdard, do you know Hamdard? Hamdard is very big in India and Pakistan, but Hamdard uh, is one of the few places in the world today that, that manufactures, on a large scale, traditional medicines. I mean, there are also Chinese, right, Chinese, uh, who are the Chinese? That there's a lot of Chinese companies that manufacture, uh, mass produce medications too. Uh, so Hakim Saeed invited me to Pakistan, and, uh, but he was not a teacher. He was primarily a politician and a businessman. So I had a hard time, very difficult time in Pakistan. Very difficult time in Pakistan. I, I usually get smiles from the Pakistanis when they say that because they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Karachi is one of the most difficult places in the world. And after about three months of being there, I was ready to, I, I, I was tearing my hair out, ready to flee. But, I, you know, I made dua, I made prayer to Allah, I asked Allah, you know, please show me. Because everywhere I went, I found Hakims that were not, to me, they didn't really have knowledge. They, one, they said, well, what we have is secret. We keep it just within our family. They said, well, if you want to learn this, you're going to have to learn Urdu or Farsi. Uh, if you want to learn this, uh, you know, they, or they didn't want to let go of the family secrets. Or it, it really seemed like what I found in most cases was a lot of people who really didn't know anything, to be honest. Uh, and who were in kind of a business setup where they had a good deal going and they didn't want to let go of it. And I was pretty disappointed because I was looking for this traditional knowledge that was intimately linked with Islam. And I thought, well, there must be a medicine because I had learned at that point in England before I started uh, practicing medicine and studying, I had learned that Western, so-called Western medicine had its roots in that same tradition that came from the Hakims. Are all of you familiar with that? Do people know that? That, they, they, that many of the, even the, many of the Greek writings and many, much of the Greek medicine actually came through the Arabs and through the Hakims to what was the foundation for, what, for uh, modern Western medicine. I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the history, the sort of history picture. So, am I getting too disjointed here? Are you with me?